Once upon a time, Earth briefly wore a ring made of millions of tiny copper needles, a DIY space hula hoop built by the US military. It sounds like science fiction, but in the early 1960s, it was a very real Cold War experiment called Project West Ford. Back then, long distance messages mostly traveled through undersea cables or bounced off the natural ionosphere. US planners worried that in a war, the Soviets could cut those cables, leaving them to rely on a moody, storm-disturbed ionosphere to talk to overseas forces. An engineer at MIT's Lincoln Laboratory, Walter Morrow, pitched a wild backup plan. Launch 480 million hair-thin copper antennas into orbit to act as an artificial ionosphere. Each needle was about 1.78 centimeters long, tuned to half the wavelength of an 8 gigahertz radio signal. To deploy them, engineers embedded the needles in blocks of mothball chemical, naphthalene. In space, the blocks would spin, the naphthalene would slowly vaporize, and the needles would drift out to form a shiny belt thousands of kilometers up, circling the entire planet. The first attempt in 1961 was a flop. The needles refused to spread and stayed in a few sad clumps, but a second launch in 1963 worked. For a short time, a giant radio dish in Westford, Massachusetts, bounced signals off this glittery ring to receivers in California. Here's the punchline. Just as the copper ring finally worked, it was already becoming obsolete. New communication satellites like Telstar proved they could relay signals far more cleanly. Compared to a delicate satellite, a swarm of space confetti suddenly looked clumsy. Fair astronomers hated the project. The needles could interfere with radio telescopes, and critics complained that the US was dirtying space. The political backlash helped spark the first serious global debates about space pollution and led into rules like the Outer Space Treaty. Most of the properly dispersed needles fell back to Earth within a few years, nudged down by sunlight and gravity. But clumps from the failed release are still up there as tiny, trackable bits of junk, little metal tumbleweeds drifting silently over our heads. To me, that's what makes Project West Ford so fascinating. It's a story of Cold War paranoia, brilliant but bonkers engineering and unintended consequences. For a brief moment, humanity literally bedazzled the planet, then learned from the mess and moved on.